In the Black Sea, off the coast of Bulgaria, a shroud of darkness envelops the seabed. Nothing lives there and no light reaches the floor. What's more, within these eerie depths, a team of researchers chanced upon an unprecedented discovery – dozens of ancient, astoundingly well-preserved shipwrecks. The international team responsible for the accidental find was headed by the UK's University of Southampton Centre for Maritime Archaeology. Partnered with institutions in Bulgaria, Sweden, the United States and Greece, they dubbed their project the Black Sea Maritime Archaeology Project – Black Sea Map. Their original mission had been to create a paleo-environmental reconstruction of Black Sea history. As Professor John Adams explained on the University of Southampton website, the primary focus is to carry out geophysical surveys to detect former land surfaces buried below the current seabed, take core samples and characterize and date them. In fact, the prehistory of the Black Sea can be traced to the previous ice age, when it was just a landlocked lake. The warmer temperatures and higher sea levels of the Holocene, our current interglacial epoch, subsequently saw it fill with water from the Mediterranean Sea. And today, the Black Sea covers an area of 168,500 miles. We're endeavoring to answer some hotly debated questions about when the water level rose, how rapidly it did so, and what effects it had on human populations living along this stretch of the Bulgarian coast of the Black Sea. Professor John Adams revealed on the University of Southampton website. Indeed, his team's work is unprecedented. Described as one of the largest multidisciplinary archaeology projects ever attempted, the Black Sea map conducted its investigations from the support vessel Strill Explorer in 2016. And the team's geophysical survey equipment was among the most cutting edge in the world. It included a pair of remotely operated vehicles, ROVs, developed for offshore oil and gas surveys by MMT and REACH Subsea. One of them, the Survey Interceptor, has set new records for speed and depth. In fact, the roving robot is not only capable of withstanding depths of almost 6,000 feet, but also of traveling four times faster than standard ROVs. To date, it's clocked up around 800 miles on the seabed, while it's reached speeds of more than six knots – that's about seven miles per hour. The ROV's geophysical survey equipment, meanwhile, includes a laser scanner, high-powered lights, and high-definition cameras. And not as fast but just as exciting, the other ROV is calibrated to take high-resolution 3D photographs and videos. After all, what could be more exhilarating than capturing a 3D image of an immaculately preserved shipwreck? So then, what did Black Sea Map actually find? An astonishing haul, that's what. To date, the project has located some 41 ancient shipwrecks from the Byzantine and Ottoman periods. For the first time, we are able to glimpse medieval ships long known about by historians but never seen by modern eyes. Most astonishing of all, though, is the ship's superb state of preservation. Indeed, despite spending centuries underwater, the wooden ships have not rotted at all. That's thanks to the Black Sea's so-called dead zone. Beginning at a depth of around 500 feet, these so-called dead zones' anoxic waters contain no dissolved oxygen and hence cannot support life. Without bacteria, the usual biological processes of decay cannot happen. Now, back in 1976, scientist and adventurer Willard Newell Bascom had hypothesized that the Black Sea's dead zone might contain a slew of ancient, well-preserved shipwrecks. In fact, researchers confirmed his hypothesis in the year 2000. It was then that deep-sea explorer Robert Ballard surveyed four shipwrecks dating from the late Roman and Byzantine periods. These spectacular images of Black Sea shipwrecks produced by the Black Sea Map Initiative are, however, unprecedented. Rendering them demanded six high-powered computers working non-stop for days. Furthermore, thousands of images were used for the 3D modeling process, which is known as photogrammetry. Using the latest 3D recording technique for underwater structures, we've been able to capture some astonishing images without disturbing the seabed," Professor Adams revealed. Certainly no one has achieved models of this completeness on shipwrecks of these depths. Certainly the images are providing new insight into how Black Sea communities once lived. In fact, they may even provide intriguing clues to how human civilization evolved. The Black Sea was, after all, a major trade hub of the ancient world. The earliest known people to sail its waters were the Bronze Age Hittites some 3,500 years ago. The Hittites were followed by more than a dozen seafaring civilizations, including the Greeks, Romans, Persians, Byzantines, and Huns. 
Jason and the Argonauts are even said to have sailed the Black Sea. All of this means that there is likely to be more archaeological treasure lurking in the dead zone. In fact, the Black Sea has been used as a trade corridor for thousands of years. The only time when it was practically closed to foreign ships was after the Ottoman Empire seized Constantinople, modern-day Istanbul, in the 15th century. And eventually, in 1856, it reopened to international traffic thanks to the Treaty of Paris. Meanwhile, the Black Sea map is seen as a successful collaboration between educational institutes and the private sector. This project is the largest of its type ever undertaken, Professor Adams told Southampton University. It demonstrates how effective partnerships between academia and industry can be. And as part of the educational remit, the project is partnering with Catalyst Learning and Communication to provide students with residential training at the National Oceanographic Center in Southampton. Some of them will be working with scientists offshore, others will assist in analyzing data. Thus, the project involves much more than just advancing our scientific knowledge and understanding of the Black Sea. In short, the Black Sea map is training a new generation of oceanographers and archaeologists. Some of these will perhaps subsequently go on to conduct groundbreaking surveys of their own. So ultimately, the Black Sea map will both inform and inspire future surveys of the Black Sea's dead zone. One day, perhaps, armchair explorers will be able to conduct their own wreck dives using immersive virtual reality. The technology isn't quite there yet, but for now, these spectacular images will more than suffice.